So we're here with uh, Seagate and hi, so who are you? I am Jason Beno, and I am actually a product manager, product marketing manager for Iron Wolf hard drives. But here we're actually showcasing the Hammer technology. So in 2019, Hammer being in heat-assisted magnetic recording, this is what's going. This technology is what's going to uh, enable us to break the 20 terabyte capacity point. So the Hammer stands for heat-assisted magnetic heat. recording. Heat, like heat. Yes, correct. So heat-assisted. Correct. And that there was this SMR that's out there. Is it, sim is it something else? SMR, C uh, CMR, all completely. It's good. There, there are two different type of technologies. Um, I believe with the uh, with the ham hammer technology, it's still going to be more of a CMR, correct? Yeah. What? CMR. CMR. Yes. CMR based. So uh, uh, this allows for. How's it possible to expand? Like, uh, how is it going to be possible to, uh, is it a new jump compared uh -huh. to the previous technologies? Yes, definitely. Is it more platters or no? Or what is it? uh, it's going to be a mix of uh, plenty of things where you're going to have uh, multiple platters, uh, more platters as well as more actuators too as well to keep up with uh, reading the performance, uh, reading the drive itself the, on, on the platter, yes. So, uh, 20 terabytes minimum in, by 2019? Correct. That's cool. That's amazing. Are we gonna get 100 terabytes? 100 terabytes? Yeah. Yes, that'd be awesome. Um, as, of course. Yeah, but with um, the great thing is that as the data is needed, like as we, as you know, with the whole data sphere that's going on, with uh, the, the demand for data, we want to make sure with with Seagate we continue increasing the capacity with each of our drives. So Hammer, of course, enables us to make make it go above that 20 terabyte capacity limit. So where's the Seagate headquarters? Uh, Seagate headquarters is in Cupertino, California. Uh, and we're here in Taiwan. Uh, where, where's all this uh, R&D happening in the U.S.? Uh, it's a mix in uh, in the U.S. as well as in Singapore. Uh, we have tons of uh, design centers globally where uh, we we do the research and development of these hard drives. And then uh, people use SSDs because they want faster speed, right? Sometimes, but you have uh, something happening with the speed right uh, here. Yes. So uh, this is the so Mach 2. Yes. Yeah, so with the Mach 2, it actually accelerates performance by twice as much. So the thing is, is that with having uh, more actuators, it helps uh, read, uh, it enables a uh, parallel data transfers, and uh, you can actually maximize even further with the drive capacity too as well. So this is compatible with the the Hammer too. Yes, soon soon it will be actually even implemented through not only just on Hammer but also uh, newer technology or new other capacity drives that we're currently building. So um, Seagate is uh, quite a hard drive company, right? Correct. Well, it's not just only uh, it's not just only hard drives, but we also have SSDs as well. So we have the SSD drives. Uh, we have our Nitro drive over here, lined up here. Which also getting amazing technology capacities, right? Uh, so we have our nitros, we have the SATA, we have the SAS, and the NVMe. This is a 7.6 terabytes. Correct. This is a 2.5 inch, right? Correct. Small capacity. Is it using 3D, uh, 3D layering of the flash data? So with this, I'm going to have to actually ask uh, one of our SSD yeah. experts to come by over here and actually provide more information let's, on let's it. Let's go back to the hard drives. Okay. Uh, are you the leader in hard drives? Number one? Sure. Yes. Most, we are the most leader when it comes to... Like most uh, shipped... Uh, what are these, like 14 terabytes right here? Is this, uh, is this the highest capacity? This is the expert. Hello. Hey. Can I meet, can I help meet you? with you about the SSD? Yeah. Yeah, just in one minute. Uh, this, this one, is this the highest capacity? Uh, yes, it's our highest capacity. Um, it's soon to be coming out the second half uh, of this year. And uh, what's Exos? Exos is our brand when it comes to the enterprise line. So we have Exos and we have Nitros. Exos is our enterprise capacity drive. And then uh, when it comes to the Nitro drives, those are our SSD brand. That's our SSD brand. So uh, this is not the shingle, this is not SMR, this is for uh, this one's a lot of access. with 14 terabyte, I believe it's CMR, but I have, might have to double check with that on you. Right. What kind of price? There's no price right now? Uh, it varies, I believe. I can't really quote you on that because it just varies depending on, because it's more when we work closely with our partners. Uh, are the, uh, there's a bunch of 12 terabytes now. 
yeah, the price so per terabyte between 8 and 12, is it going to about similar? So no, definitely not. So the 8 terabyte and the 12 terabyte is going to be a huge increase in of capacity, not only just capacity, but you also there's going to be a little bit of a gap. There's going to be a price gap between the two per per uh, gigabyte. So the cheapest per gigabyte is still the eight or the ten. I wouldn't say that. We have um, we have lower capacities. Uh, I believe we have the the two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. But oh. and uh, yeah. Sorry. So let me jump over here. Over here, there's a picture. Maybe, uh, maybe you need to be in the picture there. Three points, by the way. Sorry, the one I misquote you. So there's like one, two. We have the 12, 8, and 10. So we have a wide range of the of our drives here. All right, excess. Yeah. And uh, around here, we're checking some. Uh, Some, uh, uh, the Iron Wolf is for the NAS. Correct. So the Iron Wolf Pro Drive, we have the Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro Drive. Um, they're made specifically for network attached storage, so it provides that 24-7. It's built for multi-user environments, so if you're going to do a lot of file sharing, Iron Wolf is actually the best route to go because it's made for that NAS network attached storage. We have partnered with QNAP, Synology, and AC so, so my, my plan is uh, I want to get one of these and I want to put uh, SMR hard drives on it to save money. Is that a bad idea? Um, yes and no. What I mean by this is that you, when it comes to all our Iron Wolf drives, they're all CMR. But at the same time, I, what I recommend for you to do is go to either Synology, QNAP's uh, approved vendor list and see um, which drives are compatible with their systems because they have tested it completely. We have worked closely with our partners to make sure that the drives, these Iron Wolf drives, are going to be more optimized for their system specific. So what I mean by us partnering with Synology AC Store, we have something called Iron Wolf Health Management. And Iron Wolf Health Management is actually embedded into their operating system. So with, uh, with Iron Wolf Health Management, it's, it's embedded into Distation Manager, which is Synology's OS. It's a store that you don't It's all embedded within their operating system. So that's not the hard drives now? Yes, it, it, check, it's, it provides the like an intervention, prevention, and recovery. So if there's anything happening external of the NAS, like say there's something vibrating in the background of the NAS box itself, um, Iron Wolf Health Management will go ahead and notify you saying, hey, there's some vibration happening in the background, you need to fix it or else it may result in data loss. Or um, if the temperature rises or anything in that case, we'll go, it'll give you a notification of that. But SMR technology is a Seagate-only technology, right? So Have SMR it? technology, I believe SMR technology is, and don't quote me on this, I believe it's in on our desktop line with the Barracuda drives. We don't have we don't have it currently any SMR technology with for NAS. For NAS. But I'd like to use it just for you know like I'm I'm, I'm gonna store a lot of videos and I'm not gonna rewrite and rewrite it just for storing a lot but having it you know uh, backed up in two remote locations over the NAS over the network. So if you're looking at the 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 nature of a NAS is always it's built to be 24 seven. So if you're going to put like a desktop drive into a Synology box, those are only built for 8, eight, eight by 7. So as for our 9 wolf drive, the firmware called Agile Array, it's tuned specifically for that 24-7 use. And also it's, it's built for the, the multi-user environment that, that a NAS calls for. So if you're going to be accessing it remotely, constantly, we definitely recommend using an Iron Wolf drive. But if I'm not going to access it very often, then it could be okay. I'm just going to store and leave it for years, you know, as a backup. And I want the lowest cost uh, per terabyte. So I was thinking to take those external hard drives, just pull out the SMR cheap uh, ching shingle. Oh, yeah, drives. I wouldn't even recommend going that route, to be honest. Uh, yeah. 32 terabyte in here. If you want to make sure that the drive is running, like if you want, because again, we worked closely with Asus Store, Synology, and QNAP. So if you're going to be running like a desktop drive or if you're just pulling it out of an external drive, 
I definitely recommend doing an Ironwolf drive because we have that Agile Ray firmware that's built into it. I don't want to give you a drive that you put in there and then perhaps it might fail in another a year or so. That a drive that's not built specific for this application. It's a, huge, uh, it's a huge kind of responsibility you have as a company. You have, there's all this data that you're kind of like storing, and it's a very sad story when people lose their data. Yeah, so that's why we built this specialty drive to make sure that it, it runs reliable. You have that 24-7, it's built with Synology, Asus Store, these NAS partners to make sure you get the best experience. Because we don't want to give you a desktop drive. You can put any drive in there, sure, but you're not going to get the best user experience. So Iron Wolf helps enable that.